Hey y'all, I'm gonna be reacting to Holy Me uh, episode 13. I'll be watching it from Funimation's website and I'll be starting my reaction in one zero go. And a Polex. I always love hearing that robotic noise. Dun 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 dun. Oh, uh, and I always love hearing that Funimation jingle. Hmm. Going by that, I'm assuming that Yuki's Greatest might not be the best, or... I wonder why, though! It's... <laughs> hey, I'm not gonna blame for strolling, though. I mean, there were... There's a bit of time where... I kept my high school stuff and it took me a while to throw shit out, so... I kind of... <laughs> Whoa! I don't really want to use Hordy as a um, utility now. <laughs> Look at she wants to kill someone with that face. Okay, this guy to... No, she she does deserve to look at him that way. Those boys deserve to be reprimanded. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, hey, she does said nothing. <laughs> Yeah, it's only fair. Sure, I'll let the beautiful lady take most of the load. Oh! There's a lot of things he did wrong. <laughs> hey, that's on him. But we all know what uh, Hario's probably thinking. I was probably thinking that. Yuri was thinking in a way that Hori has a monster-like strength, and that's why she got pissed. While deep down, that dude was probably just perceiving Hori as someone that's really strong. Some, a woman that's really capable. But, what the guy didn't consider is the heart. He didn't put the heart into consideration. But regardless, yo, I'm pumped up, though. Yo, I'm pumped up for this! Because honestly, last week, I ain't gonna lie, I legitimately thought for a second that episode 12 was the season finale. But then usually though, what I do is whenever I finish off an anime, I always check the Funimation and Crunchyroll calendars and I was like, oh, Funimation has this listed for another one for next week. And that's how I realized that, oh yeah, there's, there's gonna be more, at least one more. But anyways, I'm just happy it's back. Yes! I'm gonna miss having this series in my life weekly. Speaking of which, there's a lot of stuff in the opening that they never showed off in the series. Now that I'm reflecting on it, like them playing with like those fireworks. Seems like it'd actually be a lot of fun if you ask me. Hmm. Giraffes are honestly wonderful and glorious creatures. Hmm. <laughs> but the expenses, though. I mean, someone has to be the adult in the room, though. Oh! 
I wonder if that's going to lead anywhere potentially interesting. Ho oh. ho! Yeah, well, they're saying nothing shouldn't make that nothing convincing. <laughs> Isn't that adorable? The way he's holding her. Whoa! <laughs> oh. I love how her, a cute kid is there. Oh, look at adorable. Aww. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, you know, that's a great point. It's best to have as much fun as you can with your youth. But hey, I don't think she should be that negative, though. Because in life... Yeah, exactly. You can make things more convenient. That's something... That's the way of looking at it at the positive side. Aww. That's her imagination. Hmm. Mm. Oh. Well, they start with the potential sadness and then moving away after graduation. They can have fill it in at least with the fun memory immediately after graduating. Aww. What's a good adorable cinnamon roll so sleep like that? Whoa! Aww. Hey, that's one of the best pillows in the house. Probably thinking about what would happen if they were to graduate, that's probably why. She's frying in her sleep. Hell yeah, she is. I mean, both her and Miyamura are funny, too. Well, hey, the marriage proposal. They'll definitely be able to spend a lot more time. I mean, hey, that's life. Sometimes small choices can have large ramifications towards someone's life. That's the beautiful thing about life sometimes. Conversely, though, tiny events in life can also make life completely fucked up, too. I actually dig this. Just seeing like uh, this type of what a scenario. Kind of also makes you think about life too. How um, fickle it can be. I think she looks nice with the short hair if you ask me. Naturally Remy's cuter with the long hair. But I think she looks good with the short hair also. Thankfully, though, their lives didn't turn out to be that way.
<laughs> and you know something about this too? It's scary just imagining, thinking, yeah, what would have happened if um, that little change in his life wouldn't have happened? Woof! Hey, you know, I wouldn't mind like a wooded series of. Uh, of hoarding me as to like what would have happened if they say he didn't get super close with holding the others although this is nice in its own way too But I love scenes like this, though. It really emphasizes how much his life was changed by meeting Horty, you know? It makes the series m much more emotionally powerful than it already was to begin with. Hmm. Yeah, and thankfully it's only hypothetical. All right, thankfully she walked up to get him out of that emotional funk. Aww. <laughs> but that's life. The life is built off of a lot of coincidences. The question is, how does someone deal with those coincidences? And that's the type of wholesomeness I sign up for when I launch the series. Hell yeah, now that's an optimistic way of looking at things. Oh, it's already graduation? Fuck. It's getting near the finishing stretch. Damn, I wish the series had 13 more episodes. But honestly, though, I, um, if it ends on this note, then I wouldn't mind either because the series was great from start to finish. Well, I don't know what he's, definitely makes it. <laughs> I mean, hey, it was his body. It's not like a boy did it on purpose. Can't control biological urges, you know? If someone's gonna sneeze, they gotta sneeze. If someone gotta go to the restroom, they gotta... <laughs> Thankfully, our boy is super athletic. <laughs> it actually was nice. It made for a hilarious scene. <laughs> I mean, hey, I'd say uh, Miyamura made the speech a lot more memorable with that sneeze. So I think you should be thanking our boy. <laughs> oh, oh.
Hell yeah. That's good, at least he's acknowledging his pass off there. And I like it how it... Aww. Oh, it's awfully sweet right there. Yeah, I'm not going to blame him for being lost in thought there. Whoa! <laughs> oh, that's freaking adorable. I mean, hey, why not? They asked for those photos with them, too. Whoa! <laughs> Yo, what a savage! <laughs> Aww. I'm saying that they really should have used, um, they should have used that girl a little bit more because it just felt like she was just put in there just for the sake of being put in there. In comparison to the other characters, every other character felt like they had a purpose, you know, in the series. Oh. It's been awesome since I've seen these two actually have a one-on-one -on -one combo session. Whew. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, man. You know, almost like that, even though soccer wasn't in series that much, gotta admit, the moments that where she was in it were pretty darn memorable. I just wish we'd be able to see the trip with everyone together, though. Hopefully they make at least an OVA. That'd be... Sound like it'd be a lot of fun. <laughs> I just love how you give him a ray of sunshine. That pretty said that. Boy, yeah. And that's what matters the most. <laughs> they do have similar hairstyles. <laughs> Love how he's talking. As if that. Oh! <laughs> I think that outfit looks nice, in my opinion. <laughs> yeah, I've been wondering what, what his parents look like. Honestly, yeah, uh, oh, <laughs> honestly, there for a bit, Miyamura and Hori's dad, they look like father and son, though. Like, no joke. Oh. 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 She's probably, sh her mind's probably being blown <laughs> because she's only ever seen the serious side of her bro. Now she gets to see that comedic side. Aww. 
Uh, every night she was bound to figure it out eventually. And Butter Bros, Peppy Side. Bish. Hell yeah, and that's what matters the most. Aww. Thankfully that isn't the case anymore. I mean, that's why sometimes it throws curveballs at you that you just don't see coming. I mean, that's life. Always putting your honest self and your emotional sleeve on out there. It's tough because, yeah, there might be fear of how other people perceive you. Just gotta live through a life not having those worries. But it's tough though not to have those worries. Hmm. But she's also strong simultaneously too, though. Oh. And I love how there, with her sunshine on Ori, she represents the shining light, perfectly the shining light in Miyamura's. Well, oh, that's so damn cute. Honestly, that only he can really answer that. But one of the ways he can do it is just by being together with her. And being by her side. That's one of the ways he can pull that off. Oh, it's over now. Damn. But that was an amazing episode. I'm going to rate this one a 10 out of 10. It really deserves it. But man, I'm feeling sad now. I mean, sad because like the ending was, was great, but... I mean, I'm happy, but... But sad because it's it's over. I mean, if I mean, hopefully they'll have some after credit stuff though. I'm gonna be positive and optimistic. But yeah, let, let me rate the episode though. Ten out of ten, like no hesitation. And as for the series itself, I'm definitely gonna give it a high tier. Oh, oh, that's cute. Seeing them all dressed up. <laughs> oh, that's cute. See him actually um. All dressed up like that. I wonder if those are stuff from the manga because I did hear that this series did skip through some, no, not some, a lot of manga chapters. Overall, it felt super well though. Because um, as an anime only, I loved it. That it was an amazing anime. Well, it looks like that's it. All right. Um, yeah. I'm definitely gonna stick with the nine to ten rating for this for the series overall. I think it deserves it. it's among one of the best animes I've seen, and let me explain why I think it's worthy, in my opinion, of a nine out of ten. The reason why I feel, in my personal opinion, that this series is worth a nine out of ten is because it was fantastic. You literally had a beautiful relationship built in between Miyamura and Hori from start to finish. You saw them. Build start from like a beautiful French to eventually a romantic relationship, and then eventually our boy does a proposal, and then it ends with them are starting to want to stick with each other. Like all that was so darn beautiful and glorious, and that's why I was a big fan of the script of this episode because it felt like something substantial was happening from start to finish. It didn't ever feel like this the series ever wasted time. That's what I thought. 
the episode was fantastic. And I love how this episode cut, ties up most of the all's loose ends. Well, I would have loved to have seen Ishikawa and Yuki get together because I feel like they were building that up a lot. And while I would have loved to have seen that plot point resolved, at least they resolved the major ones, like between Hori and Miyamura being together. And that's what I really love at the very least. And aside from that, something else I love about the finale too, it just had nice wholesome comedic vibes. It was nice when you see uh, Miyamura just see him reflect on his past self and then look at how his current life is, how great it is with... With Hori, like, there was just so, something so darn beautiful about that. And that's why I was a big fan of the final episode. It was amazing. It wrapped things up, per, like, proficiently. And for the series itself, I'll give it a 9 out of 10. Because even though, yes, there were a few things rushed. Like, anything involving Yuki and Ishikawa was rushed. Anything involving any guy was rushed. Anything involving the short-haired girl was rushed. Well, not the short but the short girl with the... Black hair, even though those were rushed, I still love the series overall. I had a lot of intense moments, great visuals, great voice performances, and, and it was just a good, great ending all around. And that's why I felt it was a high tier 9 out of 10 for me. And I'll miss the series. But anyways, y'all, these are my thoughts on the episode. I would love to hear your thoughts on how I feel about my reaction or the episode itself in the comment section below. Hope y'all rate the bit, share it, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all later if you come back for more. But anyways, y'all, thank you so much for watching my video and have a fantastic day, y'all. Bye-bye.